Hey guys, oh, what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. Welcome to part two of yesterday's video. And in this one, I'm going to put all my GPUs back on the shelf. You guys may have saw, I basically rearranged all the shelves. And basically, I'm wanting to have the GPUs facing this way so that the heat could be expelled out easier. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but it's worth a try. And I moved the PDU there yesterday as well. All right, so I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to put the GPUs on the shelves right now. So you guys will see that in three, two, one. All right, you guys can see, I got most of my GP rigs on this shelf. I actually have two more down here, which are my GTX 1060 three gigabyte cards. And they actually don't mine right now because I have these in Windows and Ravencoin just recently stopped mining on these guys in Windows. So I'm gonna have another video down the road getting these on a Linux distribution of some sort and getting these back onto Ravencoin. So that's sad for now, but that's okay. Anyways, you guys can see I have five GPU rigs right now. Actually, I'm gonna go on the other side here. I have my ASIC right here. So I'm actually planning on having my ASICs on like this shelf here once I have that shelf here and move this table out and everything, but it's gonna stay here for now. And I don't have the power plugged in because the cable that goes into the PDU into that room is actually too short. So I need to figure out if I need to bring out the other PDU because there's no way I can add this on this 30 amp right here. Then I won't be able to run my other rigs here okay so you guys know my single Radeon 7 profitability I've been mining with this for about a good year and a couple months now since April 1st of 2019 but it hasn't paid itself off yet but you guys will watch that video at the first of the month anyways I have my 6x Radeon 7 rig right here super beautiful I hope it still works after I plugged it all in that uh, we'll turn it on here in a second as well as my 1080 Ti rig awesome rig beautiful rig I'm actually thinking of changing the Arctic cooling fans to Delta fans but uh, maybe I'll leave that for another video. And yeah, so that one's there. And then I have my six by EVGA P104 rig. This one has also been good, but it's actually been getting pretty hot, but that's because it's summertime, the heat's getting really hot. And I'm thinking of changing out this gold aluminum frame for another frame so that I can put fans on it, like Delta fans or something, then that'll keep these cards a little bit cooler. And then I have my 8x RX 480, eight gigabyte rig here, you guys can see. And this, this rig has been a workhorse. It's been so good. I love that they are eight gigabyte cards, but yeah, I've had no issues with this rig. It's been just perfect. All of my rigs have been actually just perfect anyway. Okay, and I don't have any GPUs on the bottom. And yeah, so that's how I have everything as situated right now, as you guys can see. And here's the PDU. So I have this little blue cable going to my single Radeon 7. And then I have two of these white cables going to my RX 480 rig. And then I have these two cables going to the EVGA P104 rig. And then I have these two red colored cables to match with my Radeon 7s. And then I have another two black cables here going to my GTX 1080 Ti's. So the power is in, the rigs are in. Now I need to plug in the internet, okay? So that's something I need to figure out now. And I have actually a whole bunch of just short cables here. So I need to find a longer ethernet cable so that I can bring my eight port switch out there, okay? So actually down the road, I did tell you guys in earlier videos of my crypto mining studio that I have a 10 gigabit network switch here that I'm gonna be putting over there somewhere and a regular one gigabit 48 port here. But I am gonna get another 48 or 24 port and I wanna put it out by my GPU rigs here so that I can segregate and VLAN and do all that kind of stuff. So I will need to eventually run a long white cable of some sort or maybe through the closet or something out that way and eventually out over here and put a 24 or 48 port switch up down here somewhere. So that'll be another project down the road. That's gonna be a lot of work, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm just gonna use this eight port network switch here, gigabit TP-Link network switch. So let me go find a long cable so that I can basically just bring all of this to over there, okay? So uh, you guys will see that on the shelves in a second. All right, just got one lonely black network cable going from my power line adapter. And also I have a 120 plug also going over to my shelves. Goes along here, goes back there, onto the shelf over here. 
and I have the eight port network switch right here, as you guys can see, okay? So I did my best trying to get it cable managed and got all the cables to the respective rigs. And uh, yeah, except for my ASIC miner, the Z15, I'm gonna figure out the power and uh, the ethernet is easy to do. I still have an extra port there. And you guys may have seen, I kind of angled the Z15 this way so that the hot air can essentially go towards the window over there. Hopefully uh, later on when I get that going, everything will just transfer out that window. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I have a feeling it will be much better than what I had before and the air was coming this way. So now I can have the air essentially go this way. It's actually nice and cold cold in here. Well, not really. 86 Fahrenheit. I mean, it's not bad, but it's going to get worse here in a second. Okay, so I think I have everything in, guys. So the power and PDU is in. You guys can see I have it going along the wall here, up over here. I added some more nails over here just to make it hang. So somebody told me, I'm not sure if they're an electrician or not, but they said that having this, like the PDU cable, having no kinks or having it straight will lessen the resistance. I don't know how true that is or it's supposed to lower the impedance. Having this cable here with any, with no kinks, just you know, kind of straight and a little bit wavy they said is fine, but having it as straight as possible will cause less resistance so it'll be more efficient, the power that's being drawn or being used for the GPU rigs, okay? So I don't know if that's true or not, don't quote me on that. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and let's turn on all these five GPU rigs and let's see if I can see them in Windows. And then we'll see if I can see them remotely, all right? So let's turn on the single Radeon 7 and see if this turns on. Okay, looks good. All right, this one looks good. Looks like it's turning on. And I forgot to mention, guys, I actually forgot to clean out my GPU rigs here. You look at all that dust on this Zalman CPU cooler. It's been a while since I cleaned my rigs and I totally forgot to bring my air blower. So that's gonna be another video because I need to dust all of these rigs. I wish I didn't forget my air blower. Anyways, looks like their single Radeon 7 rig is online and I'm gonna go ahead now and turn on the Radeon 7 rig. Okay, so let's turn on both these switches at the same time. Three, two, one. It doesn't turn on. Oh, that's right. I don't have the Radeon 7 rig turning on automatically, so I have to hit the button on the ASRock motherboard. This is the ASRock H110, and it has a power button on the motherboard. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, lots of airflow. Lots of airflow is coming up. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. The reasons why I have the GPUs placed like this, I wanted my Radeon 7 rig at the top because the Delta fans that this rig has are super powerful and I was thinking all the airflow would then be better for it to just blow straight out the window once I have that 18 inch fan there. So yeah, okay. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna turn on the other rigs here. GTX 1080 Ti rig, three, two, one. Yeah, okay. 1080 Ti rig is on and it's making some weird fan noises. I think the fans need to be replaced on this rig. I, I did take out one fan as it was really loud, so that one's off. But uh, yeah, I think some other fans on this 1080 Ti rig need to be replaced, so that'll be it for another video. Okay, my uh, EVGA P104 rig and let's turn this guy on. Okay. Looks like that's good, and let's turn on my RX 480 rig. Yeah, and this one has RGB, or actually no, white LED lights. I'm wondering if I should just replace all my fans with LED lights, but then I don't think that'll work because I need high power fans like the Delta fans to cool my GPUs. So, I mean, these fans here, I don't think they do much, they're just for look anyway. All right, so I think I have all the GPUs up and I think that feels and looks pretty cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And it uh, looks definitely much cleaner now. It wasn't like it wasn't clean when I had the frames this way, but I just feel like new, everything's new now and uh, I feel a lot better. Okay, guys, let me see if I can see all five rigs in Windows. Give me one sec. Okay, we can see all of my rigs. Six 1080 Ti's, I got six Radeon 7's here, I have eight RX 480's, 
and then six P104s and one Radeon 7 and they are all in Windows. You guys are probably laughing at your screens right now. But in a week or so, maybe longer, I'm not sure, I'm actually planning on moving all of my mining rigs to a Linux operating system. And I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna be putting a different OS on every single rig here and maybe my other rigs as well, my P10, my 12 by P104 back there. I'm gonna test out like Minerstat. I'm gonna test out Simple Mining OS. I'm gonna test out Hive OS. I'm gonna try NHOS, which is the nice hash OS operating system. And as well, I'm gonna try Kudo Miner OS and also I'm gonna try MMP OS. I'm literally gonna plug in and try all of the Linux mining operating systems and I wanna see which one I like. And to be honest, I'm not really needing all the different features that some of those OSs offer. I just really need basic monitoring and uh, easy to manage all my rigs. And basically I wanna see all my GPUs in one GUI type of thing. All right, it's a long time coming. I've been a Windows miner for such a long time and I think it's time for me. You guys know I make a video every single day and for me to manage my mining rigs now, it's been really hard. So I need to consolidate into a Linux mining operating system where I can control all my rigs in one place so I can basically save my time and be more efficient and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that video. Once I have the motivation and energy to do that, you guys will see that video, hopefully in a month or so. Okay guys, so it looks like, yeah, I can see all the rigs and I'm gonna get them mining now. So the next video, we will see, you know, what the temperatures are and I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on here. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you all think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.